Hello, so today we're going to set up Entra as an IDP with Meraki Access Manager. We'll go to Access Manager and Users and we'll be able to see any IDPs already configured. We'll click Create IDP and we'll give this a name. We'll also need our tenant ID, application and everything else. So we're going to go to Entra, we'll click Enterprise Applications and we're going to create a new application. We'll give this a name and we'll click Create. Now this will take a little bit of time to do, so we've skipped on a little bit now. The next thing that we need to do is to assign a user or groups to this application. So we'll go to Users and Groups, we'll click Add, we'll click User, uh, Non-Selected, and we'll search for one of the users, such as myself. We'll click on that and click Select. And then lastly, Assign. We now have that user assigned to that application. We'll move on to the next step. What we're going to do next is click Home and we're going to look at App Registrations. I should be able to see the most recent one created and we're going to grab all of the necessary information that you see here, such as Client ID, etc. And we'll paste all of this information into here. This is a little bit laborious to watch, so you can fast forward a little bit if you wish. The next step is going to be able to create our certificates and secrets. So this is something that you're going to need to renew occasionally. So just make sure that you, you do this and you put some time in your diary to do. So I'm just going to give this a particular name, such as 2025. We've got 180 days for this particular token. So we've created it. I'm going to go back over and I'm going to paste this in here. I'm not going to click test connection because it will probably fail at this point. Now let's move on to the next point. We're going to go to API permissions. And this is the thing that's going to allow us from a Meraki perspective to read into Entra. So we're going to click Graph and we're going to add the following. We'll look for directory.read.all and we'll click on that, add permission. And you can see that this is an application permission that we've just added. We're going to do this again, again, a little bit laborious. We'll click application and we're going to do user.read dot all and you'll see this here we'll click that and click add permission and the last one is going to be a again a graph but a delegated permission so we're just going to search for user dot read and it should be under here and we'll click read and click add permissions you'll see that these are not granted to this particular instance so we're going to do that now and you can see that our grant consent is now done so let's move on to the next step we'll go back to our meraki dashboard and now we can click test connection and you can see that connection is valid so we're just going to click on save and we should be done for adding entra as an idp to access manager thank you